I've decided to take on a new challenge. First autumnal candle of the year, guys. Ta-da! I think that looks really nice. Fabulous Hannah, good evening. Good evening. It's my corona test. Why did I agree to doing this? Hello everyone. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is currently Monday morning, quarter past 11, and we've just arrived. Can you see it there behind me? At Home Sense, very excited. I love Home Sense. We don't come that often though, do we? No, not often enough. No, we don't come often enough because we love decorations at Christmas and we love like just new bits and bobs really if we're decorating up a room, but we've never specifically come for an autumn shop. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's go. Whew. We just come out, my face feels all hot to yours. Mm, How long were we in there for? Maybe like an hour? It must be over an hour, I think. Yeah, about an hour and 20 minutes we were in there. Um, but we've got some really nice bits. We're now gonna have a McDonald's for lunch because we're really hungry and it's almost half 12. Yay! Don't know what I'm gonna have. I haven't had McDonald's. I've had it once since before lockdown. Oh, almost witnessed an accident. <laughs> almost witnessing causing an accident. <laughs> don't know whether to have spicy veggie wrap and I don't know if there's a reduced menu or to have a chicken mayo or a chicken legend or a mcchicken sandwich actually that's what i'm gonna have mcchicken sandwich with chips mozzarella dippers Pressure. cheese shared box should we get a cheese share box will you have okay, some okay okay cheesy share box cheesy share box i should have told her there were four people in the car shouldn't i <laughs> should be able to see us in a minute i'll get it Beep. i'm so pleased that you agreed to the share box because you never normally do you never normally go oh i'll only have one though <laughs> and then i just have to have three Whereas even in the share box, if you only have two, I get loads. <laughs> so much better for me. <laughs> Look at this pretty view at the drive-through. This is in Chelmsford at the retail park where Decathlon is and obviously HomeSense. Let me know in the comments down below, what is your McDonald's go-to order? Mine is what you just seen me order. Oh, salsa dip, yay! Should we park up and eat this yes. or, yeah? Yes, I'm hungry. My tummy's been rumbling for the past hour in home since. Wow. Ta-da! What are the chips like today? Oh, they're a bit soggy. Yeah. That's all right. Things have escalated in the land of is Hannah going mad, slowly but surely, because I've just got home. You know when you go shopping, you usually get home and you show your mum everything you've got? I'm now showing the dog everything that I've bought like doing a haul for the dog. She's currently smelling a candle. I'm so proud of you, you're just like me. Birthday cake, do you like it? Oh, oh no, don't eat it. <laughs> Obviously all this stuff will already be up on my channel. My last video will be the Home Sense haul. So if you've not seen it already, definitely go and check it out. I'm looking at the stuff I've bought here. I've laid it out on the table in front of me. It's giving me very autumny vibes. <laughs> I've got four candles in this room. No wonder I'm sneezing. You get annoyed at the candle because it doesn't squeak. You wanna smell it again? There you go. Ooh, that stinks lovely. <laughs> okay, if you haven't seen the Home Sense haul, here's a little sneak peek. Can we just appreciate how cute these candles are? Pumpkin cheesecake and white pumpkin. But look at this little decorative piece. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> seven in the evening now and I feel like I haven't really filmed a lot today and I was trying to put my finger on why and to be honest I think it's because I've had this spot come up yesterday and it's making me feel really self-conscious so the last thing you want to do when you feel like you've got something on your face that people are looking at is pick up a camera but I'm being silly I've told myself Han get over it it's just a spot everyone gets them but I just feel a bit icky today you know when you just have those days you feel a bit gross like my hair needs washing so i'm gonna fix that because i don't want to feel icky tomorrow so i'm gonna get in the shower i'm gonna wash my hair use a hair mask i'm gonna give my face a good exfoliate i've been using this scrub on my face for the past couple of days because you know when your spots like under the skin so i've been trying to exfoliate it and i just want to get rid of it like oh it's the bane of my life right now but this is from biore super cheap really affordable and a really good facial scrub 
It's the Rose Quartz and Charcoal Pore Refining Scrub. And then after I have a shower, I'm going to moisturise and everything and I'm going to fake tan. Because I always feel so much better when I fake tan. I painted my nails on Sunday and I love this colour, but it just looks so much nicer with a tan on me, in my opinion. I so wish I was confident with my pale skin, but I'm just really not. It's amazing what a little bit of self-care can do for your confidence and your mindset. When I feel icky, my whole mind feels foggy. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay, so I made these Kinder Bueno cookies a while ago now, and I put four in the freezer, because you can actually freeze them for months after you make the, um, what's it called? Batter mixture. So I put them in little balls in the freezer, and we've just got them out and cooked them for tonight. Look how nice these look. I'll put the recipe for these in the description down below. They're so easy, so quick. They've got Kinder Bueno chocolate in, and you can put Kinder Buenos on top, but I mean, it's about 10 o'clock at night now. So for quick and easy, freshly baked cookies, highly recommend putting them in the freezer. It is officially the first day of autumn today. Happy autumn, everyone. Hope your autumn is treating you well so far. Not a lot has happened today. It's actually half past two. I've filmed the Home Sense haul this morning, which is the last video that went up on my channel. Other than that, we've been out for a nice walk, but not a lot has happened, to be honest with you. I've just been doing a lot of worky bits today, but something that arrived this morning, da, 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 it's my corona test. I've been asked to take part in a survey or something, research, study. Basically, I have to send this off to see whether I have corona or not. Ignore the leaf, that's not a poo on the carpet. It is a leaf that she's brought in from outside. Anyway, right, do I need to read the instructions? Are there instructions? COVID-19 testing research study. Step one, read this booklet carefully. Oh, you've got to wait until the day of the courier collection to do the test. Okay, I can't even do it yet. Well, all right then. I was gonna do it live on the vlog, but never mind, can't do it yet. Anyway, I've had a couple of deliveries today, not just my COVID test. <laughs> I've actually ordered a pair of jeans in my last vlog. By the way, guys, I wanna say a massive thank you for the support on the last weekly vlog. Honestly, I really wasn't expecting it and I was a bit nervous to change my style. I think anytime you're changing a little something in your job, no matter what your job is, whether it's like changing your job role slightly or going to a different department, that's kind of what this felt like, like going to a different audience. Even though a lot of you guys very kindly commented saying you would watch anything I upload. Honestly, I can't even tell you how much reading your comments meant to me. I was absolutely overwhelmed. Thank you so, so much for the support. I'm really happy that you guys are happy for me to just film every part of life. Thank you very much. But if you did watch the last vlog, you will have seen that I got a pair of black mum jeans. And I said in that vlog that I was gonna order some blue ones. I did actually order some and they've just arrived this morning and I love them. I haven't tried them on yet, but I've got them in the same size as the black ones. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna be fab. But I was just curious about the color. So this is the one that I went for. What is this actually called, this color? There are a few types of blue on the website. I can't remember what it is. I'll have to put on screen which one these are. I think these are just the blue. Anyway, they're the Lash Mum jeans from weekday. I'm so happy with this color because I was hoping they would be really light so that I can wear like cream jumpers with it or white jumpers or like beige cardigans. I think it looks super cute. And I think this kind of blue will go a lot better with those neutral tones than like a darker blue. I've got that TikTok song in my head that's like, I get overwhelmed so easily, my anxiety creeps in honey. I don't even know the words, but I've got, had it in my head all day long. But I also had another delivery arrive this morning. I'm really impressed because I bought some new nail varnishes. I usually buy them from Blue Sky directly. I use gel polish on my nails, if you didn't know. I used to get acrylics and recently I have thought, oh, I do quite miss getting acrylics. But I've just been painting my nails at home, obviously, through lockdown with my gel nail kit. And I way prefer having short nails. It's just easier and obviously so much cheaper. What is it, like £40 to have acrylics and painted and everything? And then infills, I can't remember how much they were, maybe like 25 But I got, how many? Six new nail varnishes, gel polishes for £34 here. <laughs> I swear I sneeze in every video. But yeah, these nail varnishes are gonna last me like through the autumn and winter months because I specifically chose autumnal colors. I ordered them from a different website. I can't remember what it's called, but again, I'll link it down below. And I ordered these on Sunday and they've arrived today. It's Tuesday now. So super fast delivery, I'm very impressed. But first of all, I got a few neutrals. So I got these three shades, how pretty are they? I love this color on my nails right now, but it's a little bit purpley. 
um, but these ones are all more of brown tones. This one's cream. This one's probably my favourite. It's the darkest of the three. I'll make sure I leave links to every one of these nail polishes in the description. But if you also use gel polish on your nails, like with a nail lamp, I'd highly recommend the Blue Sky ones because they never chip on me. They just slowly grow out. But yeah, I'll individually link these colours as one two and three so if you like a particular one you can find it easily so they're the neutral tones that i picked out then i picked out two dark ones so let's call these four and five this one is green and this one is like a burgundy color i already have two burgundy colors but this one just looked a little bit different i'm not sure how i'm just obsessed with burgundy nails i think they're so pretty i love this green color as well i thought this would look really nice with all the neutral tones i'm wearing at the mo and then the last one i got this one because it was free it's a little bit different it's something that i wouldn't usually pick but it's actually actually a pink nail varnish I never do mine pink so this is number six in the description down below but it's like a little bit sparkly it's very subtle I think it's going to be pretty much clear on my nails because it looks you know that kind of nail varnish that looks kind of watered down it looks kind of like a six-year-old's nail varnish I'm not gonna lie <laughs> we'll see but I thought it was cute anyway and I wouldn't usually pick it out and I had an offer where if you bought five you got one free so yeah they're all the autumnal colors that I picked out I'm super happy with them and like I said they've arrived so quickly oh by the way guys another thing in my last vlog um Sunny was going to the vet quite a lot because she was being sick at breakfast every day now I'm happy to announce that she hasn't been sick once since we had that vet appointment and paid hundreds of pounds but it's okay they did give her some tablets that we've been giving to her every night so they're like anti-sickness or stomach irritation tablets so i don't know if it's that working or we've been feeding her little snacks in the evening we bought some dry kibble from the vet which is like four sensitive tummies or we also feed it to her in a slow feeder all the time and we raised her bowl slightly so that her neck's not so like down into her food if you get what I mean and I think all of those things combined have really helped so she hasn't thrown up at all which is so so good but she did have the blood test and I haven't had the results from that yet although I feel like if there was anything bad they would have rang me urgently I'm so sorry to those of you who aren't interested in dogs and stuff although a lot of you guys do comment saying that you love the sunny content so thank you so much obviously she's a big part of my life and I'm vlogging every part of my life now so yeah I'm gonna tell you about her little updates and if that means talking about puppy sick that means talking about puppy sick <laughs> it's the most wonderful time of the year dun, 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 dun. the first autumnal candle of the year guys here we go why does this feel like a big moment in my life da, 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 da. this smells oh hang on that's very anticlimactic this smells unreal pumpkin cheesecake from home sense it's honestly the nicest candle I've ever smelled in my life i also put some little pumpkins in these lanterns this morning family haven't noticed yet but i'm celebrating autumn early <laughs> actually no it's not even early it's the first day of autumn now i'm celebrating in full force i'm determined to get my family in the spirit for autumn this year i know my mum's going to be more than keen but my dad i know he's going to say why have you put pumpkins in the lanterns <laughs> this video describes how to collect a throat and nose sample for coronavirus testing. I feel like I'm doing homework. You have been invited to participate in this research study at random. Oh, the I'm the chosen one. I'm just about to book the man that's gonna come and collect my test. Yeah, yeah, I would be. What sort of time are you thinking? Yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. Okay, I'll speak to you later. Thanks for thinking of me. Just had a call from Essex Radio while I'm doing my COVID test. I feel like Hannah Montana. I'm like trying to help society doing charity work, doing my COVID test. I have a call from the radio. They want me to speak tonight, which is cool. I've done radio once before with BBC Essex and I loved it. I went into the studio. I think I vlogged that actually. I'm pretty sure I did. And I enjoyed it so much. So I'm going to talk to them tonight about how lockdown has impacted YouTube and stuff like that. Anyway, back to my COVID test. Back to reality. <laughs> they have a slot for tomorrow. There we go collection of your covid test will be tomorrow i'm actually going out for dinner tonight guys with leanne and leanne's sister and a friend of ours i have literally barely gone out for food since before lockdown obviously last week i went out to that little outside cafe with my friend chelsea but i haven't actually gone into a restaurant yet this is going to be the very first time i'm excited i'm not nervous i was nervous a few weeks ago but i feel a bit better about it now and it's also very local like it's my local pub that we're going to eat at so i'm very familiar with it and stuff so yeah we're going to go out for dinner have a little catch up which will be very nice this little one's not coming 
she's staying here but i'll bring you along with me the menu is really posh so i don't know what i'm gonna have yet but i know the food is really good there and they're still doing eat out to help out through september so that's pretty much why we're going to this really posh place because we get a tenner off each buzzing sunny say we love eat out to help out except i've never actually used it this is the first time i'm using the scheme Alrighty then, I am now home. I had a lovely dinner. I had a chicken burger and it had pesto in it. Isn't that an unusual combo for a burger? But it's honestly so nice. I'm definitely gonna be putting pesto and mozzarella in my chicken burgers from now on. Um, anyway, it's currently three minutes to nine. I've had a nice bath with a nice autumn candle for the first night of autumn. And I'm waiting for BBC Radio Essex to give me a ring. Perfect face for radio tonight. Honestly, I'm putting that saying into action. I probably couldn't look worse if I tried right now. I really hope it's not a video call. Imagine if it was. I actually would want the ground to swallow me up right here, right now. Please just be a phone call. <laughs> Imagine. I would be mortified. I'm in my pyjamas. That would not be fun. Anyway, I am currently just having a look down my channel to see how my content has changed through lockdown because believe it or not it's actually really hard to remember the videos that you've made i don't know if any other youtubers can relate to this but if someone asked me what video i made two weeks ago i would not have a clue most of the time because it's like you create a video you put it out into the world then you move on to the next one so i'm just having a look oh i've done a vogue quick fire two months ago i paid a psychic to draw my soul mate i can't believe i did that I wasted 25 pound on that i did and the best part is the Etsy seller has now deleted her page, so I hate to break it to you guys, but I think I might have got scammed from the soulmate drawing, if you hadn't already guessed that. When I clicked on my Etsy message and I clicked on her profile again, it was only a couple of weeks ago, it was like, user cannot be found. Yeah, I'm not surprised because she's a scam artist. <laughs> 25 quid I wasted on that psychic drawing, how desperate can a girl be? Anyway, let's put this face on the radio. Let's do it. The population of Essex, here I come. Essex based fabulous Hannah has her own YouTube channel and uh, wait for this <laughs> she has 433,000 subscribers and she's with me now uh, fabulous Hannah good evening good evening hello how are you we noticed that one of your videos 20 easy hairstyles for short hair yeah just tell me how many views that has had oh I think it's over 20 million now it is 24 million. 24 it's unbelievable. Million views. I know. I didn't realise that many people had short hair. Day to day, how, how difficult is it to think of the content, the idea? It can be quite difficult, especially after six years, because I feel like I've made every video possible under the sun. Um, but I suppose every couple of months I have what I call a creative day and I'll sit and plan my videos for the next couple of months so I know in the back of my mind I've got a backup plan if I can't come up with any new ideas. Does it kind of weigh heavy the responsibility of thinking you've got to entertain that many people on a weekly, daily basis? Do you know what? It actually doesn't. You would think it would and sometimes it does feel a little bit overwhelming, I can't lie, but the viewers that watch my videos are such lovely people and I get the nicest comments and the nicest messages every day that it sort of just feels like I'm catching up with friends when I'm filming and I never think about the amount of people that might watch my videos. Do you ever have to sort of look back and think how on earth has this happened? Every single day I think that. I honestly can't believe how this has gone. Well, it's been fabulous. Uh, talking to you, Hannah. Thanks so much for giving up some of your evening to be with us tonight. And, uh, let us know when you get to half a million. Oh, I will do. I will. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Hannah. I appreciate that. No worries. Thank you so much for having me on again. Done. Time to go and watch Bake Off. Woo! Good morning, everyone. I'm just about to do my corona test. So I've done most of the steps. I've just now got to take the swab. I don't want to do it wrong. Rub both your tonsils ten times. Oh, my eyes are watering. It kind of hurt. Okay, I've got to do my nose now. <laughs> Why did I agree to doing this? There we go. That was horrible. Mum just said to me, don't say it's that bad in case anyone else needs to do it. It's awful. <laughs> it's done. Anyway, man's going to come and collect this up in a while. Lucky man going around picking up all the corona tests. What if there's a big van that arrives that says like COVID-19 and all the neighbours think I've got it? And he comes out in a big biohazard suit, zipped all the way up. 
yeah. face shield on, gloves. I wonder if you will. We've got an update, haven't we, Sonny? The man just came to collect the test. He did not come in a corona van, in a corona suit. He just had a high-vis jacket on and came in his car. So, <laughs> what a dramatic family we are, aren't we, Sonny Bear? Today for lunch, I've got a halloumi wrap. Now, I used to have these every single day ages ago and they're so yummy and then I just completely forgot about them. So there's halloumi, lettuce, I've got spring onions and red peppers in here with a bit of salad cream. I had a bit of extra halloumi so I've just made some little <laughs> homemade halloumi fries with a bit of sweet chilli dip. Hello my loves. You join me on the floor of my office this evening. It's now Thursday, I've been editing all day today, but I've decided to take on a new challenge. Basically, my office. <sighs> it's a right old merry mess. This is what I'm looking at currently. It's just not a workable space. Like I can't even film in here because there's just so much stuff that has accumulated in this office. So I am about to go through it. I'm gonna film an entire video, I think like an office transformation because I'm going to redecorate it. I feel like now I've rebranded my channel and it's so much more me. The vibe of this office needs to change as well. It doesn't really give me cosy vibes. It gives me like, I don't know, 17 year old hand vibes and I'm just not here for it anymore. So I'm going to change it up. I'm going to get rid of the fairy lights. <laughs> the end of an era. These fairy lights have been up here for donkeys and I just need to sort through all this PO box. So I'm going to sort it into piles of what I'm yet to post and things I'm going to donate. I've got two printers in this room, neither of which work. I've got a load of stuff in the corner that I've been meaning to sell on Facebook. So I'm going to get around and put that on over the weekend. This is going to be one of those jobs that seemed like a really good idea yesterday when I come up with the idea of changing it. And when I get started, I'm going to instantly regret it. <laughs> I just know it. But I'm going to crack on because I really want this to be a usable room. I want to be able to film in here again. I want to be able to work in here as well. I've got into a really bad habit since we got Sunny of just working on the sofa because obviously I'm downstairs with her a lot now. The issue is Sunny comes upstairs but she can't get downstairs. So now this can be a workable space because she can come up here with me as long as I carry her back down. <laughs> How do you teach your dog to go downstairs though? I don't know. Let's get cracking. I'm going to time lapse this for my office transformation video. Oh look, even in the mirror, you can't escape the mess. Um, and that will be up on my channel, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. <sighs> It's about an hour and a half later. I've been grafting, I've been working, I've been building. No, I haven't. But I have been clearing stuff away. I feel like I've made good progress. I mean, it's definitely at that stage where it looks worse before it looks better. Yeah, it definitely looks worse. This is what I call organised chaos. But the big change is the fairy lights. Obviously, the lights are gone now. Can't believe how much clearer the room feels. Good morning, everyone. It is now Friday. We've just dropped off a load of stuff at the charity shop from my office like stuff I was getting rid of and we've now come out for a little walk in the woods it's actually quite late though we've had a bit of a slow start this morning it's 11 25 now it's nearly lunchtime just been sorting out more bits of my office this morning Sunny's been really sleepy today so we haven't rushed out but the charity shop were very happy with all the bits that I dropped off there they were just like old things from my bedroom like a couple of vases some fake flowers little bits and bobs like that but what's she doing sniffing a poo come on <laughs> I've got loads of stuff arriving today from Amazon for my office. I'm excited to change the decor and I'll show you when I get back because it looks so much clearer now. Also, I definitely look like an egg today because I haven't done any makeup. I haven't got any eyebrows. I've literally thrown my hair up in a bun, but this is the dog walking life. <laughs> Speaking of dog walking life, just about to pick up a poo. I'm really cautiously looking that she's not picking up any acorns because I thought I'd just let you guys know. I saw on Facebook this little dog swallowed an acorn and apparently some types of acorns are poisonous to dogs and she died the same day that she swallowed it. So now I'm really cautious. Sunny, what's that? Oh, no, <laughs> it's just a feather as normal. Um, but yeah, especially in the woods, obviously there's loads of acorns around this time of year. So if you've got dogs, just be careful that they're not swallowing them. I mean, we're constantly fishing stuff out of her mouth anyway because she picks up everything, but we're just going to be extra careful. Okay, I told you I would give you an update of the office. This is what it's looking like today. Now that I've had a bit more tidying away, obviously all the rubbish is gone. This is actually for sale on Facebook now. My softbox lights were over there. They've also just been sold. The girls just come to collect those. All the stuff that was down here is gone, mostly to the charity shop, and I'll just put my ring light down there. My new pen pot and magazine file arrived today. I'm so 
happy with them. They're only from Amazon, but I like that they're really understated and you can't see them when you walk into the room. I've also now got a bit of makeup on, but I'm about to shoot a job. I'm actually doing another job with Estrid. I love working with Estrid because I genuinely love the razor so much. When my manager texted me to say that another job had come in with Estrid, I was so happy. I said to her, they're such an easy brand to promote. Like when you genuinely love something so much, I can talk about it until I'm blue in the face. <laughs> so yeah, it makes my life easy working with brands I genuinely love. Oh my God though, how funny is this? Nothing to do with work. But basically I've ordered some shelves for this wall. They arrived this morning. I should have looked at the measurements. They look like shelves for a Barbie house. They were such a fail. I'm gonna have to send them back. I don't know how well you can tell on camera, but I think they're about 40 centimeters. I need them bigger than that, babes. Good morning, everyone. It's now Saturday. We've got a bit of a madhouse today. <laughs> Not really, we never have a madhouse. We're like the calmest household ever, aren't we? Yeah. Um, but today we're dog sitting my brother's dog. Here he is. Tell everyone what you are. Diesel is a sheep dog. He's a border collie, but he actually is a sheep dog. He's a working dog, aren't you? Sunny's still getting used to him. Where is she? Sorry, my camera battery died, so I've just changed it. But like I was saying, Diesel's not really used to having another dog around, but he's the most gentle dog ever, aren't you? You could literally trust this dog with a newborn baby. He's so gentle. So yeah, he's getting used to Sunny being very interested in sniffing him aren't you poor diesel he's going to be sick of her by the end of the day i thought this morning i would make our dining table centerpiece i spoke about this in my home sense haul but basically i bought this vase and i bought a load of stuff to go in it because i want to make this really nice autumnal brownie orangey centerpiece for our table so i'm going to do that now i thought i'd show you what i do i ordered all of the rest of the stuff on amazon so yeah the vase is from home sense and everything else is amazon i'll link it all in the description down below actually i have an amazon shop so anything that i mention that's from amazon it's all linked over there i have like a youtube section a home section a dog section so everything i've bought is on my amazon page really handy if you want to go and see like what equipment I use or everything I bought for Sunny. But anyway, today I'm going to make this autumn centerpiece. Just realised I should have put the oranges in first because they're going around the edge and now every time I try and shove it in, all the pine cones move. Right, let's start again. The reality of crafting with hand. <laughs> Something's wrong. I waited up. Wounds on my feet. Where will you be? Flickering through memories. The Polaroid yellowed in the sun. Ta da! I think this looks really cute. So this is the final result. This is the front. I pretty much just tried to dot the oranges in like random places. So we've got one by the candle, another one down there. Maybe I should put some more oranges in. I don't know. I like it for now. And then round the back, we've got a couple more. And I also made the pine cones go higher at the back. So it's not all just like one level. So this is the front and then it goes round. And I thought at Christmas, I can just change this out for some Christmas decor and it'd be lovely. I'm really pleased with that. I like doing a bit of DIY. And I also think if I was gonna buy something like this, it'd be more expensive than what it cost me. And I also have loads more of everything. Loads more pine cones if I wanna put them anywhere else. I can't wait for it to get dark tonight now so I can have this on. These candles are also from Amazon. They're so good. Um, I can't remember if I've already showed you these. I arrived yesterday, but we've got these ones in the lanterns as well. And it comes with a remote, so you can just turn them all on. Ta-da! I also bought this on Amazon. It's just like some little pine cones, some glitter, some... What are they called? That type of tree? I don't know. But there's silver, gold and red. So I might put a couple of the gold ones in and see what it looks like. Here's a little close-up of what they look like. They've just got some little gold leaves, some tiny pumpkins. That's so cute. And a little pine cone. I think they're really sweet. I've had a couple of helpers come to join me. So hello everyone. Sunny's here too as well. Always sniffing the bum, aren't you? Always sniffing the bum. You're having a look at our new display. Isn't it lovely? I can't figure out the right place to put this though. It is getting on my nerves a bit. Hey, don't you eat my decorations? I actually find it crazy to think about how scared of dogs I used to be. Like if you didn't know, I used to have an absolute phobia. Sunny, come here. We're your best friends. Are we your best friends? They're more interested in the decorations than they are in me. Oh, oh bless you. Oh. <laughs> 
what did you say, Sunny? Tell me. What did you say? I'm so pleased with this. I think it looks so lovely. Up here, we've got our pumpkin cheesecake candle, obviously. But I just put a couple of the little sprigs at the back. Obviously, the gold pumpkins I'd already put in there. I added a little pine cone at the front of this one. And then in here, I put two of the sprigs because I wanted it to be a bit more full. I took one of the tiny pumpkins off the sprigs. So we've got a mummy pumpkin and a baby pumpkin. I think that looks really nice. The flickering on the camera is really annoying though. So here you go. This is a bit of a better view of it. I think for a budget little DIY, these are some lovely autumnal lanterns now. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end this vlog here because I'm going to spend the rest of the day looking after the two dogs and editing this vlog because I haven't even started it yet and it's going up tomorrow morning. That's something I need to get better at. I need to edit day by day because I know it's going to get to Saturday evening and I'm going to have the whole vlog to do. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little weekly vlog as much as you enjoyed the first one. Don't forget, if you haven't seen my Home Sense haul yet, there is a link to it in the description down below go and check it out if you love all things cozy it's also a come shop with me so i took you around my local home since showed you what's in store so yeah check that out if you've not seen it already but for now thanks for watching i hope you're having a lovely sunday and i'll see you again soon with another little video bye guys love ya <laughs>